I'm Stuart Cruz with Cruz Asset Management. We're a boutique asset management firm where we use statistic and math to make investment decisions. Welcome to today's 60 Second Investing with Cruise Asset Management. Today's topic will be market pullbacks. Now it seems like we've been hearing a lot about volatility in the market these days, but the truth is, relatively speaking, volatility has been low. The VIX, or the Volatility Index, sometimes called the Fear Index, outside of a few blips here and there, have been remarkably and consistently low for long periods of time. We haven't had a 1% pullback in the S&P since October 11th. As of today, that's 105 days in a row. This is the longest streak in over 10 years. Now, eventually, the streak will end. And when it does, it's going to feel like the sky is falling on your head. But please don't panic. Over the past 10 years, average pullbacks from top to bottom have been 17%. And in spite of those seemingly large pullbacks, only one of those years ended significantly down. See, the problem with selling in downturns is you have to be right twice to come out ahead. First, you have to be right on the sale, but the real struggle is when, you get, when to get back in. If it's dropped an additional 2 or 5%, do you buy again? Eh, probably not, because market seems to be getting weaker. Now, most investors wait until the market feels better, but that only comes after it's significantly rallied off the lows. And then it feels expensive. So often people wait for a mere little mini pullback, which either doesn't come or stops the reinvesting because of the weakness again. By the time the cycle is broken, the market has often rallied past the original exit point, and in the round trip, opportunity cost is lost. This is one reason the average do-it-yourselfer performance does worse than inflation. So instead of trying to time the market, make sure you're not taking on excessive risk when the market is on the rise, such that you feel compelled to sell in a downturn. As the saying goes, more money has been lost by being out of the market than being in. So it's better to stay the course. I'm Stuart Cruz with Cruz Asset Management.